Um, can you do me a favor? Um, yes. Go ahead and look on your Okay. Uh, All the mics. What's up, guys? Okay. Oh, it's cold in here. <laughs> Okay, so what was going through your mind at the end there with the decision and the arm going up first? Uh, I thought I won. The ref maybe thought I won. I don't know, guys. It's hard because I respect my opponent. Happy for her, but I don't think that was a close fight. I think I did a great job. I dropped her. I did a lot of damage. I controlled the ring. I'm gonna have to watch the fight again, but uh, I think the judges need to watch the fight again as well. Right. Uh, you didn't move in and try and take her to the ground? Is that, I mean, when you dropped her, you, you had that, sp she got up really quickly, didn't she, in that first Yeah, round. I and think that there, that, were, there were moments like when I dropped her, if I would have gotten closer to her, she would have had to stay on the ground. Hmm. Um, I mean, I slipped up on that. A lot of mistakes made, but uh, I think I did well. I think we're on. Mm. I think I did a good job. Um, a lot of people will probably say, don't leave it to the judges, or you should have knocked her out, but it's not an easy, easy game we play. Mm. It's a game of chess, um, and I took a little longer this time, but I think I still got the job done. So, you know. Mm, tough. And you didn't look, you didn't, she didn't look to have you in any periods of trouble, too, so. No. And then, you know, the nose bleed, but some people just, my nose bleeds a lot mm. in, in training too, but uh, I was never rocked. I was never in trouble. I felt her as a person fighting her in the cage. I felt like she was backing up a lot. I should have taken advantage of that and taken her down. I think I was just, I got kind of confident and like comfortable in the striking. And um, yeah, you know, you can't be perfect, but you can be good enough. And I thought I was good enough so what, 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 now you go home, regroup, look for another fight this year after the, after? Yeah, after I'm healthy. After so um, put me on Vietnam. I'm ready to go fight in my country. I'm not hurt. I'm fine. No broken bones, no nothing, no cuts. So I'm healthy. Put me back in there. That's what athletes want, you know, especially with the, the unfortunate decision I got today. I want to get back in there. I want them to match me up for September 6th in Ho Chi Minh City and put on another show. I was really, really sad, really upset at first, but um, the only difference is numbers at this point. The only difference is I gave her a number and I lost the number and my paycheck is cut in half. But my coaches are happy. My fans are happy. If you look at social media, there's an uproar right now. Um, I'm happy with my performance. I mean, now it's just a mental game, right? I did the physical game. I thought I won, but now I definitely have to win the mental game. I got to just be good with it and uh, get ready for September 6th. And would it help to have someone from your team back home in the corner out here? Do you, do you um, think that would make a difference? Or I, I mean, obviously it will make a difference, but is that something you're looking to do from now on? Uh, I would like it just for the loyalty, but I, I think I'm, I'm happy with, you know, just confident uh, corners, and my corners are very confident. Uh, I, I listened very well, and uh, I think we did a good job. I, I'm not sure. I mean, you can always do more, but I think I, I'm happy with my performance. Could have changed a bunch of things, but if, uh, if I would have gotten the nod from the judges, I wouldn't have to explain my performance right now. Do you know what I mean? Uh, so it is what it is. Things happen when they're not in your control and you just move on and you show up. You know, you can't not respect somebody who shows up. So I'm ready to fight again. How about a rematch? I'm down for a rematch. Uh, I think that going into this fight because she was a boxing champion, I was like, whoa, boxing champion. I was respecting her, but we all saw I have good stand-up, and uh, if we rematched again, I'm gonna add more tools that I have to the belt. Now that I've proved that I can stand with her, stand better than her, if we had a rematch, I would also prove that I'd be smarter to use my ground and uh, not get too comfortable with striking. But um, rematch would be great. 
or I'll move on and keep doing what I love. Like I said, it's just a number. Do you have any advice from Vietnamese fighter when they get to the page speed just to get on and try to knock out? You think so? Uh, yeah. Um, my advice is to train your hardest, do your best, um, and honestly, right now, at, at the stage that you're asking me in, my advice is to be mentally strong. This game will take you up and down, and uh, it's all a matter of how you react to it, you know? All of our countries have had ups and downs. You guys have had ups and downs as reporters. Everybody watching has had ups and downs, but uh, um, I'm happy with my performance, and this is not gonna affect me. You've had a chance to look at Twitter, uh, I imagine. Uh, what's the sentiment um, been like, overwhelmingly in your favor from what I've seen? Uh, this is emotionally very hard for me to take a loss. I'm a winner, so I don't lose easy. But um, to have their support, and sometimes when you're a fighter, you're emotional. You want to win. So if it's just you saying, I think I won, you don't know if you're right or wrong. I could be wrong. But to hear hundreds of people on, on the internet going crazy right now saying that they also think I won, that makes me feel good, you know? Um, just need support when you're not feeling happy. I'm not very happy right now. And so thank you to everybody who is watching this, who's commenting. Thank you to all y'all who are still interested in interviewing me. Win or loss, the sport, it's all about who we are, right? So this is me. <laughs> and is it ideal that you've got a chance potentially in Vietnam to just get back in there quickly? And yes, match me up. I already texted Rick. Rick, um, well, the... Uh, one, uh, one staff said, B, if you're healthy, we will put you on uh, Vietnam. So, healthy, I'm here, put me on. I want to fight in front of my people. I've heard Vietnam might be one super series only. Would that, yes. would that interest you, to, Diana? I have striking, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, I'm ready, uh, whatever it is. Freaking like yoga, tai chi, whatever. It's, whatever you want me to do in Vietnam, you better have me on the card. That's my people, my country. You want me to just, I don't know, you want me to dance, I'll dance, but Muay Thai, MMA, whatever, I'm there. Put me on the card. This is what I signed on to one for, to come fight in Vietnam, so I better not miss that opportunity. We good? Thank you. Thank you guys. Thank you. Okay. I, 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 My game's rough, huh? <laughs> you are a winner. Thank you. Thank you.